The world champion U.S. women's soccer team will return to the World Cup final if it can beat England today. Both teams have won all their games so far. Roxana Saberi is at the stadium in Lyon, France. Roxana, what are the players saying ahead of this game? Well, the teams have been praising each other, but England's coach has accused the U.S. team of bad manners, and both teams are boasting that they can win the game here later today. As three-time World Cup champions, confidence comes naturally to Team USA. But since beating France, the fourth-ranked team in the world last week, they're getting hit with accusations that they're more than self-assured they're arrogant. I don't think our team is arrogant at all. I think that our team is confident. Um, we're respectful of our opponents. Their next opponent, England, also believes it can take home the trophy. This will be only the second time that Team USA takes on England in a World Cup. The last time the U.S. won 3-0, but that was 12 years ago. Now the teams are more evenly matched. England has reached new heights with new coach Phil Neville. He's praised his opponent's ruthlessness. It's the gold medal that everybody wants, and I've got to say America have got that ruthless streak of wanting to win. But he's questioning their etiquette. In an incident now dubbed Spygate by British press, Team USA staff were spotted checking out his team's hotel in Lyon, reportedly as a possible place to stay if the U.S. beats England and goes on to the final. Not something that we do, send somebody around to another, another team's hotel, uh, but it's their problem. U.S. coach Jill Ellis brushed off the allegation that it's another example of her team's arrogance. That's got nothing to do with us. That's planning and preparation for our staff. To be clear, FIFA dictates where teams will stay. So if the U.S. defeats England here later today, it will be required to move into that hotel. Whoever wins will compete in the final here on Sunday against either the Netherlands or Sweden. Anthony. Roxana Saberi at the Women's World Cup. Thanks, Roxana. I, do, I don't know when arrogance or confidence becomes arrogance. They're very close to each other, I think. Mm -hmm. And when checking out a hotel becomes spying. Yeah, I, know. <laughs> it's I like, don't know. I hate that we're getting dubbed as arrogant, though. That bothers me. I don't like it either, but, yeah. confident, but confidence is a but good confidence thing. Confidence is okay. I don't think we it's deserved in win. this case. No, yeah. I think this is a team that... He, well, Everybody the, wants to win. The British coach envied, what did he call it? Their ruthlessness. Their ruthlessness. Everybody yeah. wants to win. He won 10 in a row over there. Yeah.